Hi YouTube! So today I am here with another wig review slash first impression. I picked up some really fun colored wigs recently and I wanted to give them a try. Sometimes it's nice to wear a wig that you're not really trying to 100% prove that it's your hair. It's like, okay that's probably a wig but it's cute anyways. And before I get started I wanted to give a special shout out to my bestie Eric. <laughs> He wanted me to shout him out in my video. So hi Eric. Me and Eric like um, having sleepovers and trying on wigs. So hi Eric. So this particular wig is called, I have some information on my iPad so I can read it, but it is the hair, the brand is Hairdo, I guess by Hair You Wear. I've never had a wig by this brand before. And it is the out of the blue wig and I got it in the average cap size. This is a synthetic wig and as you'll see it has like a rooted um, top with like light blue hair. And just to give you some information about the features of it, it's open wefted, open ear tabs, open extended nape, has a velvet front for added comfort. And then it has ultra thin adjusters for personalized fit, which is good because my head is so small now because I have no hair. And then true to life heat friendly synthetic hair, so it means you can flat iron, curl, or blow dry it using thermal styling up to 350 degrees. Um, if you saw my last video, I was wearing a pink wig in that video. I tried to curl it, but it didn't seem to hold the curls, so I'll have to try more. I, it also says you shouldn't do it while it was on your head, but it was on my head. So I will show you guys what the wig looks like in the box, and then we will try it on. Okay, so here is what it looks like. It is like an A-line bob, longer bob. This is actually a lot longer, I think, than the pink one. Um, has like the back here with a super angled front and as you can see it has the dark roots like I was mentioning I think no matter if you get a wig that's like a fun color or a regular color if you get the darker roots it looks a lot more natural because it looks like yeah maybe you dyed your hair that color but your hair is growing back no bangs on this one here's what the inside of the cap looks like this doesn't, I don't think, have like where you can part it whatever way you want. I only paid $90 for this wig. I saw it on some models online and it looked really cute. So I was like, let's give it a try. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off the tag and try it on and I'll be right back. Actually, before I try it on, I want to show you like how you actually adjust the wig in case you're looking. So there is... Um, these little velcro straps right here and you just velcro it tighter this is exactly how the pink one was that I was wearing a lot of wigs are like this too um, you can make it the one I had the pink one I put it like super tight because like I said if you don't have any hair underneath um, it makes it kind of hard and I don't think there was any other options for this the cap size it was just average on this one okay I am back and let me tell you it was kind of like a struggle to get this wig on um, I put it as tight as it goes but I almost feel like it's still not tight enough um, first impression I don't have any dry shampoo on it so it is pretty shiny but it's a lot like a lot more long than the pink one the pink one also just like went on so like effortlessly and started looking like that could really maybe be my hair this one looks a lot more like a wig but i like these because it looks like kind of like a superhero so i'm gonna come a little bit closer show you so here's like the top of it it's, i can't describe it any other way than it's like more crustier feeling than the pink one um but i mean i guess yeah, if, like if you did, if you thought I had actually dyed my hair this color, maybe it looks more realistic. Um, I don't think even is it a lace front? I don't even think it's a lace front. Which is my friend Eric, if he's watching this, he's like, "Girl, you have to get lace front." Um, the cut is kind of overwhelming. It's like um, a lot of hair hanging down. This one, I definitely think it's more like something I would wear with a hat versus like leaving this scalp thing out. I don't know. It doesn't look bad, but it's not, I'm just keep comparing it to the pink one because I love the pink one so much. Um, I might do just like a review on the pink one if you guys are interested, but let me show you. Hopefully the bag don't look a hot mess like that last wig. I also don't like like, if you go like this, if I like go too far over, you're like, oh yeah, she's bald. Um, I don't know why, like the pink one, I feel like it wasn't like that. Maybe if you like take some of this and like clip it, I don't know. It's looking a little bit Halloween. 
So I would say if you're interested in this wig, it's it's a fun wig, it's a cute wig, but it's definitely not gonna be like, maybe that could be your hair. This is more like, nah girl, she's got a weave on. <laughs> The color is pretty though. Apparently this color is like super in right now. I saw an article from Chi and it was like, silver blue hair is a new trend. Over here looks maybe cuter. I don't know. So that is my review and first impression of this wig. It probably won't be one that I grab for a lot, maybe for a few videos and put a hat over it, make her look a little cuter. Um, but like I said, I might do a video about the pink one because I absolutely love the pink one. And then I have that blonde one that I like a lot. So um, I will share with you maybe like wig favorites. I also do have like a lot of other wigs that I bought the last time that are like wig fails. So I should do a video about that because you guys would get a kick, about, kick out of it. So that is my video today. Give me a thumbs up if you were entertained by this video. <laughs> Leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!